It's clear as to why seller financing is attractive to buyers, but are there benefits if you are the seller? Well, offering to finance the purchase of your property for a buyer can result in a higher sales price, a faster sale, and passive income without common property management headaches, just to name a few. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. But before we begin, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I post cool stuff like this each and every week and you don't wanna miss it. All right, let's go. Hi, my name is Matt Terrio. I am CEO of Epic Real Estate, where we show people how to invest in real estate with an emphasis on retiring early. And selling a house with seller financing, whether it's your home or an investment property, can increase your ROI, your return on investment, and your passive income, accelerating your journey to retiring early. When you decide to sell, using seller financing as a tool to do it, will set your property apart from other properties that are for sale. A private client of mine in our REI ACE program, Jeremiah Johnson, he does this very successfully as a real estate investor, but you can do this one time as a private seller of your own home also. It's not common, but it's becoming more common very quickly, mostly because lending guidelines from traditional banks have really tightened up quite a bit. Buyers need more than a pulse and the ability to fog a mirror these days to qualify for a home loan, of which translates to a smaller buyer pool for sellers. Now, when you put your property on the market, whether you do it yourself or you do it through a real estate agent, prominently promote your seller financing option. You're going to attract much more buyer traffic than the other properties are getting that are for sale in your market that don't offer seller financing. And even for the buyers who are more interested in your house than the available financing you're offering, share with them the benefits of your financing over a traditional mortgage, and you can move yourself that much closer to a successful sale. When promoting, focus on what's important to your buyer, like less bank hoops to jump through, easier qualification, faster processing, and flexible terms like the down payment and the interest rate. If you'd like a list of these negotiable terms, you can grab a copy of the cheat sheets that I give to my private clients at epicbreakthrough.com. A strategic line of questioning can help the buyer see the benefits of seller financing all on their own, such as, one, would you be interested in an easier and faster way of buying this home? Two, would you be interested in owning for less than it would cost to rent? Three, wouldn't it be nice to no longer deal with a landlord? Once you have a buyer ready to take you up on your seller financing, there are three key things that you're gonna to wanna to do to minimize your risk and perhaps even eliminate the risk altogether. One, check your buyer's work history and credit score. And you can do that by just having them fill out a rental application, although they are purchasing. And you can run that rental application through any number of credit check companies. A quick Google search of credit check companies will turn up a number of options for you. Two, require a significant down payment. Because as a rule of thumb, the more money a buyer puts down, the less likely they are to default or walk away. I'd recommend at least 10% down, but 20% is preferred. And if they don't have a full 20%, consider splitting it up into payments like 10% due at closing, 5% in three months, and then 5% more in three months after that. Now number three, give the loan servicing to a professional. It's a nominal fee, well worth taking the, the bookkeeping and the tax records, the late notices, the collections, and the other time-consuming tasks off your plate. As of the recording of this, I use noteservicingcenter.com, and I've been using them for almost a decade now. If you own your property free and clear, this is a pretty easy process. Just write in the loan terms directly on your purchase agreement under payment terms. And that should be sufficient enough for your closing agent to draft the appropriate paperwork. If you have an existing mortgage, it's not as easy, but it's not difficult either. After you negotiate your price with the buyer, identify the loan balance on your current loan. Your seller finance terms will lie within the difference of the two, meaning you'll be seller financing the equity in the property then hire an attorney, or your closing agent could do this job too, and let them wrap your seller finance loan around your existing loan, creating an all-inclusive loan. Now, if I lost you there, that's okay. Just see below in the comments a short video on what a wraparound loan like this looks like and how it works. 
click show more and you'll see it there clearly labeled. Now still, give the servicing of the loan to a professional and instruct them to continue making the payment on your existing loan and then send you the difference for your seller financed loan. And you're done. What did you find most valuable? Share with me in the comments below. And if you found this useful, who do you know that might also find it useful? When their name comes to mind, please share it with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.